between line cross. Again, we have to copy 7. Lalagay natin siya dito sa una and then seed 9 dito sa huli. Now, i-add natin itong dalawa. So, 8 plus 9 equals 17. Ilalagay natin si 7 dito and then carry 1 dun sa magiging sagot sa kalawang numbers. So, we have to add 7 and 8. So, 7 plus 8 equals 15. 15. So, ilalagay natin si 5 dito and then we have to carry 1 above the 7. Now, let's do that. Hello everyone, our video for today is the continuation of our topic about multiplying numbers by 11. Have you noticed in our previous video? Ang total ng sagot natin ay not exceeding 9. So we have here 3 plus 4 equals 7. So 7 is not exceeding 9. And then we also have 4 plus 5 equals 9. So hanggang 9 lang talaga siya. And then we also have 5 plus 3 equals 8. And then 4 plus 5 equals 9. So again, ang total ng, or ang sagot natin ay not exceeding 9 or 1 digit only. So, paano kaya kung, or gagamit tayo ng numbers na ang magiging sagot ay 2 digit numbers. Okay, so we have here, we have to use another set of numbers. So, we have 11 times, uh, we have to use 56. 56. So again, we have to copy 5 here. And then, si 6 naman sa huli. Okay. Then, we have to add these two numbers. 5 plus 6 equals 11. Now, what have you noticed? Ang total ng dalawang number natin ay 11. So, lumagpas tayo sa 9. Now, to continue, we have to put 1 sa gitna. And then, carry 1 kay 5. Then, magtototal tayo. So, we have to add. We have 6 here. 1 and then 6. 1 plus 5 equals 6. So, our answer is 616. So, now let's check using dun sa nakasanayan nating solution. So, we have to 56 times 11. So, 1 times 6 equals 6. So, 1 times 5 equals 5. And then another, 1 times 6 equals 6. And then 1 times 5 equals 5. Now we have to add 6. 5 plus 6 equals 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 5 equals 6. So the total is 616. Pareho ba? Or so, pareho. So let us have another example. Okay, so we have to use 11 again. Times 67. We have to copy 6 here and then si 7 naman. So, si 6, lalagyan natin dito. Si 7 naman sa huli. And then, we have to add these two numbers. So, 6 plus 7 equals 13. So, our total is 13. Again, lumagpas na tayo sa 9. Okay? So, to continue, we have to put 3 here sa gitna. And then, we have to carry 1 above 6. So, now, mag-aad tayo. So, 7... 3, 1 plus 6 equals 7. Now, our answer is 737. Are we correct? So, again, let's check. Uh, 67 multiplied by 11. 67, then another 67. So, we have 7. 6 plus 7 equals 13. Carry 1, 1 plus 6 equals 7. Our answer would be 737. So, pareho ba? So, pareho silang dalawa. Mean, our answers are correct. So, now, we have to use three-digit numbers. So, 11 times 6, 7, and 8. 678. So, to answer this number, we have to, again, si 6, ilalagay natin dito sa unahan, and then si 8 sa uli. And then, we have to add these two numbers. So, 7 plus 8, equals 15 equals 15 so si 15 si 5 ilalagay natin dito and then we have to carry one here then again another one we have to add 6 and 7 6 plus 7 equals 13 
Lalagyan natin si 3 dito. And then we have 2 carry 1 here. Now, magtotal tayo. So, 8, then 5, 3 plus 1 equals 4, 1 plus 6 equals 7. Our answer is 7,458. So, now let's check dun sa paraan na nakasanayan natin. So, 678 multiplied by 11. So, we have 678 and then 678. So, 678. Now, let's do that. We have 8. 7 plus 8 equals 15. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Plus 7 equals 14. Carrying 1. So, 1 plus 6 equals 7. So, ang sagot natin ay 7,458. So, pareho sila. Pareho ba? Okay, pareho. So, another example for 3-digit numbers. We have 11 times... 789 equals again we have to copy 7 lalagyan natin siya dito sa una and then si 9 dito sa huli now i-add natin itong dalawa so 8 plus 9 equals 17 ilalagyan natin si 7 dito and then carry 1 dun sa magiging sagot sa kalawang numbers so we have to add 7 and 8 so 7 plus 8 equals 15 15. So, ilalagay natin si 5 dito. And then, we have to carry 1 above the 7. Now, let's do that. We have 9, 7. 1 plus 5 equals 6. 1 plus 7 equals 8. Our answer is 8,679. So, now we have to check. 789 multiplied 11. And we have 9, 8, and 7. 9, 8, 7. 9, 17, carry 1. 1 plus 7 equals 8 plus 8, 16. Carry 1. 1 plus 7 equals 8. So, ang sagot natin ay 8,679. So, we have the same answer. Now, let us have another example using 4-digit numbers. So, we have 11 times... 5,678 equals. So, to, to answer this one, we have to copy 5. See, 5. Copy natin si 5. Lalagay natin sa dito. And then, we also have to copy 8. Ilalagay natin dito sa huli. Okay, let's continue. We have to add 7 and 8. 7 plus 8 equals 15. 15 yung sagot natin. So, ilalagay natin si 5 dito. And then, i-carry naman natin si 1 doon sa magiging sagot ng next set of numbers. So, then, we have to add 6 plus 7. So, 6 plus 7 equals 13. So, we have to put 3 here. And then, i-carry natin si 1 doon sa magiging sagot naman sa susunod. So, we have to add 5 and 6. 5 plus 6 equals 11. Okay. Now, we have to put 1 here and carry 1 above 5. And magtotal tayo. So, 8, 5, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 5 equals 6. So, ang sagot natin ay 62,450. Now, let's check dun sa paraan na nakasanayan natin. So, we have 5, 5,678 times 11. So, we have 8, 7, 6, and 5. 8, 7, 6, and 5. So, 8. 7 plus 8 equals 15. Carry 1. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Carry 1. 1 plus 5 equals 6 plus 6 equals 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 5 equals 6. So, our total is 62,458. Pareho ba? So, pareho. So, ganun lang guys. But then, babala lang, ang ganitong technique ay only useful in multiplying numbers by 11. Hindi natin siya pwedeng i-apply sa ibang set of numbers. So, that's it guys. Thank you for watching.